You're watching live coverage of the Yonex French Open 2024. This is round two action that's coming to you from court two as we turn our attention to women's singles. And it's the 2019 world champion, two-time Olympic medalist, Pusala V. Sindhu, going up against Beiwan Zhang, who was a finalist here at the French Open in 2016 from America. That's the match that's coming up very, very shortly. As we look at the women's singles draw, the bottom half of it specifically, and the winner of this match will take on either Lena Christofferson of Denmark or the number two seed Chen Yufei of China in the quarterfinals with the likes of former champion Akane Yamaguchi or one of another Chinese opponents waiting in the semis, Han Yue and Jiang Yiman still in the mix at the moment. Yes. China, of course, have a very strong playing field in the women's singles. Top quality players throughout. You see the officials make their way onto the court. And it's a pretty long walk from uh, the entrance all the way to court two, which is on the far end of this arena. Four courts in action at the moment as we are in the early stages of the tournament. And uh, while we await probably one of the best clashes of day two. There she is, Pusala V. Sindhu of India. Olympic silver medalist and bronze medalist. As I mentioned, a former world champion as well. Looking to way, looking a way back since having injured herself last year. It was the end of last year, a left knee injury, and you can see that the knee is still taped up, probably as a caution, precaution. And following her is Bei Wan Zhang, a lady who's been on tour a long, long time and knows plenty about coming back from injuries as well. She had a long, long rehabilitation period after injuring her Achilles during the 2020 Olympic Games back in Tokyo. And that was uh, painful to see. And she's found her way back, not only playing competitively, but playing some of her best badminton. As we see, that it's an uh, age-old rivalry, 6-5 Sindhu leads in what is their 12th meeting. Red. Side. Receive, you will serve. So Sindhu wins the toss, chooses the near end of the court. And uh, Bei Wen Zhang will choose to receive. That means Sindhu will serve. So this is uh, meeting number 12. They last met at the Australian Open quarterfinals and Bei Wen Zhang won that 21-17, 21-17. Sindhu's last win coming at All England 2020. Is 28 years of age from Hyderabad, ranked number 11 in the world, but has gone up as high as two. We'd have to go back to April of 2017 when she was world number two. And uh, well, at All England 2020, Sindhu won in straight games as well. In fact, the rivalry is as long as back to 2011. That was their first meeting in the Indonesia International. She had a very long match against uh, Michelle Lee coming back from a game down to win 2022-22, 21-19 in 80 minutes. And uh, on her social media page, she called it a grind, a grinding win. And something that I'm sure put uh, her in confident mood. Bei Wen Zhang, 33 years of age now, and uh, ranked number 10 in the world, which is very close to her Highest career ranking of nine, which she last enjoyed in June 20 of 17. And that's why I say she's back to playing some of her best badminton at the moment. And she had a huge win over the number five seed, Carolina Marin, beating her in just over an hour. 14, 21, 21, 16, 21, 17, also coming from a game down. Has a win-loss record of 4-3 to three in 2024. Bei Wen Zhang 
But in the second round, that stands at 0 to 2. Unfortunately, lost both her second round games as we see the officials for this match. Trish Grubb from New Zealand is joined by Liu Yun of China in the service judges chair. So second round losses at the India Open and the Indonesia Masters for Zhang as we see Sindhu's coaching set up there. Mm. Has teamed up with Ready Prakash Padukon. Which uh, was also an announcement she made earlier this year. She's three to one win loss in 2024 for Salavi Sindhu. And uh, second round does not apply because the first tournament she played in was the Badminton Asia Championships last month. That was her first tournament played since recovering from the knee injury. And India went on to create history there by winning the women's championship in Salango. So she had a successful return to tour, PV Sindhu. It's her first individual tournament of 2024. We're happy to see her back. Incidentally, the last individual tournament she played was the French Open last year. So it almost feels like coming full circle. It was at last year's French Open that she retired against uh, Supanida Katetong in the second round, trailing 18-21-1-1. And she then later announced it was a left knee niggle that saw her pull out. And so she's back in her first individual tournament since then, Ladies here at the French Open once more. On my right, Prasala V. Sindhu, India. And on my left, Bei Wing Zhang, USA. Prasala V. Sindhu to serve. Love all. Play. So after a two grueling matches for both these two women a place in the quarterfinals beckons one love cross court winner to get pasala on the scoreboard so be when jung yesterday against marin Made the slower start, but came away Service over. with the win. One, all. She has immense control in her game. That's one of her strengths. Service Hold over. Out. Two, one. Biu and Zhang's last tournament it was also the Pan Am Team Championships. She played for USA and they finished silver medalists in the end, losing to Canada in the final. It's good defending by Zhang. With a tremendous Service drop over. shot to follow. Two, oh. Just lifts it lightly on the back end of the net. And before the the Pan Am Championship, she played at the Indonesia Masters in January and lost in the second round to Ratchanok Intanon in three games. She lost in the second round at the India Open as well. So that's why her second round stats stand at 0 and 2. And at the Malaysia Open, she lost in the first round. Bei Wen Jung, so looking to break that early stage jinx in 2024 here in Paris. Oh, lovely. Service over. Makes Three, it look four. effortless. 
pushes it over the net. Doing well to defend here, Sindhu, under a lot of pressure. Four, three. Caves in the end. It's a clever move from Zhang to aim it so close to Sindhu's body. Toing and throwing at the moment. It's unsurprising. Both women played on court one in the first round, so it's their first outing on court two. Not that the conditions would have changed much. Just adjusting to everything. It's called out. Service over. Five, four. Straight into the net. Six, four. Gotta be a little bit careful with giving away quick points. Look at the defense. Seven, from four. Zhang, she holds it as late as possible to play the shuttle back and keep her opponent guessing. Three point lead. Uh, forced to go behind Jiang Sindhu, playing the clears a lot more. the outside line. That's out. She's playing Eight, the back line quite five. a bit, Sindhu. It's not constantly delivering the results she wants. One. That time Service a more aggressive over. hit Six. from the Indian. Eight. Keeps the shuttle lower as well. That rally was just mastery from Zhang, Over. showing full control. Nine, six. Changed up the pace midway through as well. Play. But that was complete control from Zhang. She finds the back line. Ten, six. And now it's a four point lead for the American. Five. Hasn't Thank looked you. back since four all.
Oh. Service over. Backhand finds the net instead. Seven, ten. Has to be fully focused in these long exchanges. That can be quite demanding on these women. These exchanges have certainly been long. There's been no quick points as such. And it's out. So Seven. it's Bei Wen Zhang who Seven. has Eleven. the 11 7 Seven. lead Eight. at the break. Mid game break. She's held on that lead since 4 all, and nine minutes played, she's up by four now. You can play on the forehand. I'm in the front line, no need to hear him. You have time. The big difference here is uh, Sindhu, of course, has a strong coaching entourage, but Bei Wen Zhang often travels to these tournaments on her own and has to be her own critique or critic, I should say. Good aggression from Zhang, just changes up the pace there. And one of the things that Service over. Prakash Padukone said Eight, about at that mid-game break to Sindhu was just to take it easy. And uh, she has plenty of time to find her way back. Play with patience is key. Prakash Padukone, of course, also, Service over. 12, one of eight. two coaches that are in her setup. that has joined her team is Indonesian. Agus Dwi Santoso that you see next to Prakash Padukone. She also has Mohamed Hafiz Hashim in her setup. So she's trying to find her way back as the Olympics beckon. Looking for the right mentoring to put her career and her plan back on track. Just finds the line with that high serve, Bei Wen Zhang. Very different scenario for her compared to Sindhu. Yeah, just miss it. Service over. Looking for the Nine, four, lines eight. on the side court. That was a well executed 14. net roll. She needs to string a few points here to be right back in it. Just a couple more and she would have to put the pressure back on her opponent. Oh, it's landed on the line. Over. Much to her 15, frustration. 10. 
see this a little bit of hesitation there. She tracks back, hoping that it lands out. That time she gets it right. Over. Down the line, smash. 15. One of her biggest assets is those big smashes that she has. Be quite aggressive and attacking when she wants to be. That's out. Well left. Service over. 16, 11. Service over. And cross Balin's body. 16. And smart work. That looked like it was going out. I wonder why she played it back. Service over. 17. Worked in Balin's favor. Not this shot. This one here. Looked like it could have gone out, but Sindhu was taking no chances. Return not good enough, though. Eighteen, twelve. Yeah, well left again. So two points away from clinching the opener is Bei Zhang. Make that eight match point opportunities now. Sorry, game point opportunities now for the American. And she just over. catches the 13, outside line. 20. Sindhu. A little bit lucky with that shot, but she manages to save one. Eight. Sorry, got seven more game points to go. So in a short start by Bei Wenjiang here against PV Sindhu. Takes the opening game 21-13. She played a well-controlled, measured game so far, Jiang. And it's paid off as Sindhu found herself on the back foot quite often, like in that exchange. Finding herself caught out numerous times and then makes the mistake in the end. So it's Bei Wen Zhang who's got the advantage. 16 minutes played and it's 21-13 in her favor. I know, no danger. No. He just only disturbed. Her. Now, number three, when you sign Pista, sign something, you prepare them. Something he give you like this. Now, so Raka, you in the first place, like this, you know, like this is something here. Now, yeah, 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 can. Leo, I think this the side may be a little bit better. Play confidently. Just put it the neck, make her lift, and then, then you can smash. Okay, all the best. Do well. Don't worry. Second game. Love all. Play. So it's Bei Wenjiang who is in the lead at uh, 
21-13 as we begin this second game. Straight away, Sindhu's on the attack. She's unfazed, Bei Wen Zhang takes her time and then seizes the opportunity when it presents itself. Let's feel that Sindhu's a little bit too eager with her short choices at times. Lovely drop shot. And look at that follow up there. Two. Down the line. No. Finds the space really well. That drop shot was key. And that kind of set the point in motion. And again. It's just beautiful control and shot making from Zhang at the moment. Three love up. That's a lot better from Sindhu. for the steep smash and is ready on the follow-up as well. Makes no mistake. Two, three. It's two very quick points to close the gap for Sindhu. Hold in and she'll challenge it. First challenge off the match. And she was watching the shuttle carefully there. Oh, it was right call by the line judges. Correction. It is indeed oh. out. And so Sindhu losing a challenge early in the second Three. game. Sorry, my mistake. It was called in, so Sindhu successful with her challenge on that one. It was indeed out. Ah. And the drop shots over. do Four. so much damage. Three. Got it absolutely perfected there. That's landed out. So Sindhu levels the score for all. During the interval, we saw her coaches just try to give her the advice to keep her in a positive frame of mind. A picture of calmness is Prakash Padukone for sure. All was not lost with Five, that opening game. Four. That was the message. She takes the lead for the first time. Oh, she was ready for it. <laughs> and you get a feeling that Zhang too was ready for what was coming, the way she crouched down and covered her head. 
She knew she'd made the mistake with that loose net lift there. <laughs> and she was ready for the return. Send it out. Service over. Five, six. Steepness in her shots. Seven, five. Certainly help her get out of this tricky situation. She goes for those steep smashes. Makes it very hard for Zhang to return from a low angle. That's out. Eight, Tenth five. French Open appearance for Pusala V. Sindhu. Her best finish was in the semifinals in uh, 2017 and 2021 she lost to japanese opponents in both those semi-finals she lost to yamaguchi in 17 and then sayaka takahashi in 2021 she knows all about going deep at this tournament that's a nice net shot just flicks it across great rally Tremendous Five. grit shown by Sindhu there. It's just on the defense at all times. Puts the pressure back on her opponent to find the winner, and that's where Zhang makes the mistake. It's a sixth French Open appearance for Bei Wen Zhang. Best finish was getting to the finals in 2016 when she lost to Herbing Zhao. 921, 921. Did not play last year. Just taking some time off so for personal reasons. Six, nine. Missed it by a mile. Seven, Oh, she misjudged that completely. Jung completely missed it. Just watching the shuttle there, Sindhu doing well to play it on the backhand. Ten seven. She's had the lead since four all. Looking to hold on here, and she does indeed. Eleven seven at the break. Sindhu has uh, responded well to going a game down, and uh, really took charge from four all in the second game to be eleven seven up. We've had 11 minutes of play. Some pros are big, some clean, but you prepare again. Uh, we have something like this, is it? Next stop, next stop, some pros, because he's waiting on this straight, he's having some in the middle. He's a pros are big. Can we set a little chat to mind the judgments? Make him close to the net, more drive. 2, 20 seconds. 2, 20 seconds. Can we set a little chat? So Bewa Jung's got to find it in her to turn this around. 
hold on to this advantageous first game that she's had. Just four points separating the two. Service over. And win here, she'll win her first second round match of the year. It's going to be a big moment. A little bit of a breakthrough for her in many ways. Oh, it's much better from Sindhu. Service over. Keeping it short. Eight. playing the net and then going for the shorter forehand. Zhang in a nearly split position trying to make it. Thank you. Smart play. Players on court. Ah, finds the line. Beautiful. 13, 8. Really nice shot. Pushes Baywin back with that lift and then finds that line on the front court. Gives away 13. the next point on a mistake. Sindhu. That one missed as well, this time by Baywen Jung. And so they're taking turns with the errors at the moment. Sign of the pressure building. Oh, it's going well out. I seem to kind of knew it. Just wanted to be sure. Oh. What a shot. That's glorious. Over the head smash. Finds the back line. And this is now one way traffic in Sindhu's favor. He's opened the gap to eight points now. Winning four on the trot. Yeah. Confidence showing now. Whether it's down the line or cross court, she's finding those spaces easily. Bei Wen Zhang completely on the back foot. Called in. She'll challenge it. She was successful in. with her previous challenge. Seems pretty sure now as well. Yep, again, a good challenge from Sindhu because it is out. out. two of Nine. two in the challenges in the Play. second game and has a 10-point lead now. 19-9. Bei Wen Zhang's challenge crumbling here. Woo! 
beautifully placed on the back line. Sets up multiple game point opportunities for Sindhu at 29. I kind of feel that Jung's saving herself for what is an inevitable third game. Oh, that was a wild forehand the there. 10, 20. Still has 10 game points though. Yeah, that time it landed game. out, and it is Second game at, one game one at 21 10 to 21. PV Sindhu. One game all. So we're at one apiece after she took complete charge of the second game. In the second half, especially, went on a seven point run to make sure that she leveled this match. So 21 10, 17 minutes in the second game, and we're off to a third here. Which with the wind. So just remember that with the wind, when you go on the other side, stand right here, right here, right here, one point at a time. Don't rush. Okay? Yeah, because he's a uh, loose by wind. Now he tried to many, many times. Yeah, he used like this, like this. You prepare something. Shut. I can't see what I'm doing. Hey, brother, you got it. Don't go down. Don't go down. Don't go down. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Yeah, okay. Well, during that game. interval, the thing Love that you picked up on was uh, Play. the coach is saying that they're playing with a little bit of wind, so keep the shuttle down, which means that there is some or slight drift, but the key is to keep the shuttle down. Lee Wen Zhang, sure, knows that Love. too. Fantastic. Two. Nice cross court no. smash from Zhang. Takes a couple of steps back, full stretch. Yep. Plays it to perfection. Raised her racket two. for that one, Sindhu. Wants to change it. Well, they went to three games in their opening rounds, both these players, and we go to three games again in the second round. And uh, of the previous 11 matches, six matches have gone to three games. Service over. An three, interesting one. reading is that Bei Wen Zhang has won four of those six three gamers. The last three gamer was at 
the Korea Open back in 2019. Zhang coming from a game down to win it in three. Service over. Two, three. In fact, she won the last four three gamers in total, and Sindhu won the first two. But it's been a while since it's gone the distance between these two women. Service over. Four, two. I don't think they look too much into the past. Especially having come off two big three game wins themselves in the first round. <laughs> Belief will be there. Service over. Three, four. I think the only thing that's interesting in terms of Sindhu's three-game history against Zhang is that both the three-game wins that she had, she came back from a game down. That's been the case for her. Level scores. Sindhu, who's been trailing early, finds herself Back on track. Nice net shot. Oof. Was it full stretch from Sindhu? And it is Zhang who succumbs first in what was probably one of the longest, if not the longest exchanges off the match. Sindhu does well to stay in the rally, keeps the shuttle in play, and then Zhang blinks. Yep, it is the longest rally so far. 34 shots, that one. Too close to call at the moment between these two. Momentum that Sindhu had gathered in that second game seems Drives in, please. Sindhu. to have in, please. slowly dissipated as Zhang is keeping pace with her opponent at the moment. to take the lead here. Well, she did at 5-4. Zhang came back straight away and now once more Sindhu is ahead by a point. Seven, five. Desperately looking to build on that. Keeps at the net and goes for the big smash. Close to Zhang's body. It's difficult to defend. Yeah. Eight, five. In the first game, Jiang didn't put a foot wrong with her net shots. She found those drops and those rolls very easily. Um, now seems to be making more errors at the net than winners. Three straight points for Sindhu. Yeah, it's gone long. Service over. Pretty close Six, to the net when she hit that eight. high lift. Ah! 
Oh. And again. Nine, the error at the net from Zhang. Looking for the net roll. She had the time to play it. Instead makes the mistake. That just tells you how much of this third game is in the mind, is being played in the mind. These are shots that Biwen Zhang would hit in her sleep otherwise. Killed it off easily. It's a loose return. It's pulled out. Service over. Seven, ten. And so it is PV Sindhu who is in the lead of the mid-game break. 11-7 up. That was the score that she led by in the second game as well. Looking a lot more in control with her gameplay and of this match. You've had 11 minutes of play in the decider and it's PV Sindhu with a four-point lead. Some move is West Pedro. Okay. And then sometimes... message from Sindhu's camp is not to rush, play. play well at the net, which she has been doing to her credit in the decider. Change of ends as well, which I think will benefit Sindhu. She's a lot stronger in the second game, playing from that end. Not that shot, but generally speaking. Eight, eleven. But you, for Jane, for Bei Wen Zhang, this is do or die now. She can't afford to let the gap get any bigger. She knows it. No. That's on the line. It's landed in. Nine, eleven. Accurate hitting. Wide, well wide. 13, she nine. just hasn't been able to control the shuttle as well as she did in that first game, Bei Wen Zhang. Number of errors have been way more than the winners. Much to her disappointment, I'm sure. Over. She goes for the kill there. 13. Sindhu. With a defensive backhand that comes up at the perfect height for Zhang to put away.
That's a nice drop shot. Tries to push it above and over Sindhu and succeeds, Jung. Nudges the shuttle as she drags Sindhu to one side of the court. It's a great tactic from Jung. Good awareness. And that one, it's an absolute beauty. 12, and we're down to a single point. Just when Zhang looked down and out, she's right back in this. One point game. She's strung three points together. Service ah! so over. 14, 12. Unfortunately, couldn't make it a fourth to level the score. Nice reaction, really quick thinking from Sindhu. Brings the shuttle down with the forehand and then on the net roll, takes it a little earlier, catches her opponent off guard. Missed it. Service over. 13, 15. Bay win. Bay win. Let the line judge call. And there's still a chance here for Bay Wen Jung. Just two points separating the two women. Tension is palpable. That's gone long. Service over. And the patience that Sindhu is showing is paying off. Staying in these exchanges is winning half the battle here. Defending by Sindhu, again with the net shot. That time she finds it within the line. 13, 13. After defending for what seemed ages, Sindhu gets that round the head smash in. She'll be happy with herself there. Four-point lead and four away from a win. Yep. Didn't have to do much. It was all Jung making the mistake. Six of the last seven points have gone Sindhu's way. Yeah, called in. Service over. 
14, decided not to challenge 18. it. Play. Looked like it landed on the line. It was a hard shot to play for Bei Wen Zhang. The shuttle was at still quite a height for Zhang to play it accurately. And so Sindhu now with a five point lead. And she just keeps playing the, patience, the patient game that she has. I have to say, there's no stopping her here. Finds a drop shot of her own at the best time. PV Sindhu, and that sets up six match point opportunities here. Net error from Bei Wen Zhang. It is Pusala v Sindhu who secures the win in three games, coming from a game down 13 21 to win it 21 10, 21 14 in 55 minutes. She is through to her first quarterfinal of 2024, Sindhu. Seeing off the challenge from Bei Wen Zhang. with another hard-fought victory. It's confirmation off the score, a three-game win for PV Sindhu as she moves on to the quarterfinals here at the Yonex French Open.
service. Over three.